In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take this PC oh! and turning it into this beast of a PC using that. So first off, we're going to want to get this box open, obviously. So this is the up here three pack of RGB fans, by the way. So we got some nuts and screws, not nuts and bolts. More, some extra. And here we got some little sticker things. Not really sure what to do with these. We'll figure that out later. And right here. We have the fan hub and the controller. Looking good. We got the SATA cable connector. And here are the fans themselves. All beautiful. You don't want to see the top, but you know it's a good one. So I'm excited. Yes. There we go. There it is. The up here fan. So these are going to go. One right there to replace that one, and two right there to replace those. And this whole front panel is coming off. Let's get into this. So obviously the first step is obviously to turn off the computer. It's as simple as that. Turn off the monitor. And you're gonna wanna come around right here, the camera right here. This is the back panel of the PC, obviously. And obviously, you're going to want to remove it. Right there. This panel's hard as hell to get on, so it's always just sagging at the bottom, but there's those two, and off goes the panel. So, now we're graded with this. Also, I might not have already said this, but you should probably disconnect the power supply from the wall and also so you can actually get the fans out you're gonna want to also take the front panel off so go around back right here and then we a little bit of force as easy as that. So now we have access to the inside. I can touch my graphics card weirdly if I want to. So I guess we should probably just leave the fans alone for now. Our main focus right here. This is the fan hub and uh, yeah. So what you're going to want to do, this is a SATA connector I believe. So you want to find this is your SATA cable. I think I believe right there is our SATA connector. So you're gonna want to plug it in. So there you go. Your fan hub is successfully plugged in. Definitely didn't panic there, think I had wasted money for a second. So yeah, so we got a successfully plugged in fan hub. Leave that right there for a second. Let's grab actually no, let's not grab the fans yet. Let's first off I recommend pulling this front part off to keep, to make it easier. And there you go. You have this front panel removed. And I was planning on actually removing it and just keeping it removed. I don't know if anyone else is going to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. So now, as you can see, real careful with that cable. It's pretty thin. So that connects right there. This is different um, for different PCs, obviously, but I own a Lenovo Legion T530, I think. So yeah, you remove that. But wait, that removes the functionality to change the RGB and the colors of the LEDs or anything else that you might have already put in the case. So you're going to want to take that out of the front panel, which it, which is basically just twisting it. The front panel, you, the icon is removable. You twist it. There's these little tabs. You want to pull them out, and it comes off. You can put it anywhere you want. It just has to be plugged in so you can get the RGB functionality back. I can do a video on it if you want me to, but... Yeah, just just make sure it's still plugged in. Let's just, just keep it zoomed out. There's that. That's for the icon on the front. And with that, you can pull this right off. 
And yeah, this is what the PC looks like completely naked. It's quite interesting if you ask me, but I'm going to do the simple part. So this part, pretty easy. Phillips set, I think. Take that. And these fans are a little weird. They connect down there. And where they go, pretty sure. Top one goes right up there. The bottom one, pretty sure right there. So obviously, I'm gonna wanna disconnect them. There's that one. And then, unscrew these. I'd also recommend holding the fan when you're unscrewing it, that way it doesn't fall out. Oh, that is the screwdriver. So it doesn't fall out and just end up right there. It'd be a little annoying. With the third screw, the fan has obviously lost quite a bit of traction, so. <clears throat> then you go around the back here. This has a braided cable. It goes right through there. You wanna go through here. And there's the connector right there. It's it's a four pin, that's a little weird. You connect some RGB to that, I'm pretty sure. And four pin RGB. And there you go. Look at that. I might actually do a video with this, seeing what it can do. Yeah, stay tuned for that. It's pretty cool. Big ass fans though. 120 millimeters actually feel like a lot bigger. So now you're going to want to repeat with the top one. Second one. Now I probably should have disconnected that first, but that fan is connected right up there. So what you're gonna wanna do, pretty sure, yes, it's the braided one right here. You wanna disconnect that. It's pretty loose, because I already did it once. Come around back, see the braided cable? I think you're going to want to pull that through. If you're going to use these fans again, I'd recommend being a little more careful, but I don't have much of a use for them currently, but I'm going to keep them. Maybe a future, future project. But yeah, so there's the connector. There we go. So the back one is where it gets a little weirder. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push your PC a little more forward so you can actually get some better access to it. And yeah, it's basically the same deal. I'm right next to the microphone, so audio is going to be shit. But yeah, there's four screws. One, two, three, four. And yeah, I'm going to unscrew them. This fan right here connects right there above the GPU. So real quick, I'm just going to pull that connector out and there you go this fan is now loose the connector it's also braided so i'm gonna have this probably not the best of ideas but i'm gonna have a rest on the gpu and the connector is right here and the rgb panel because you need that rgb so you unplug that bring that through my nose seam oh, and there goes there goes the fan This little thing, it's a, there it is, okay. This is a little cable management shelves. There we go. Legion RGB fan. I don't know what brand this is from. So yeah, this is basically naked PC, no fans. Here we go, so we got the up here fan. Let's take the fan and I'm going to put this one in the front. I think we might actually want to take these little things and apply them to the fan. There it is. All right. All okay, good. This fan is almost installed. But yeah, fan one, successfully installed. I'll repeat the process.
All right, to just expose myself, what I did, um, there's no way I can get the back panel closed with the, the thing just sticking out. So what I did is I rooted everything. I, ignore the tape, by the way. I'm, I'm not really proud of it, but this case isn't big enough for good cable management. But I rooted this cable just along here. And I rooted the other cables from these two fans along the back. Top one's up here. Yeah, the bottom one. Right there. This is what it looks like when the fans are off. And this is what it looks like when the RGB is on. The only thing I can say is, wow, this came out really well. I'm surprised as to how well everything just shines. It just works so well. The front panel coming off is like the best thing you could do to this with RGB in the front. It just looks beautiful. I don't know how, to, how else to put it. It's just, it's just glorious. Comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want any more tutorial videos or any videos in the future that require buying things, I probably won't do them because I have no money because I'm not monetized yet. Please help me. So yeah, this has been Tech Nugget, and you have likely just learned how to put in RGB fans. Up here, RGB fans, that is in your Lenovo Legion or any other system. This is pretty easy, so comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.